Save that for Grinder. I love that you think I have enough self-esteem to be on Grinder. What would my profile even say? I'm gay and disabled, but I promise not to drool on you until the third date. There are plenty of drool. That's Ryan O'Connell's character at Physical Therapy in the Netflix show Special. After two Emmy nominations for creating and starring in a semi-autobiographical show, O'Connell is out with a new book that also has similarities to his real life. Just by looking at him is a novel about a gay TV writer with cerebral palsy on a journey of self-discovery and acceptance. The book is published by Atria, a division of Simon & Schuster, which, like CBS, is part of the Paramount Global family. Ryan O'Connell is joining us right now, first on CBS Mornings. Good morning, Ryan. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for having me this early on in the morning to talk about my gay smutty novel. <laughs> it is very, it is very smutty. I have to say, it, it is. Let's it take is. a look where they put the, uh, yeah, the, the novel the, logo. Right, right out there. the gate. Right out the gate. We're yeah. not playing around with this cover. <laughs> Don't read it in public unless you want to blush a little bit. Yeah. And and we'll get we'll get to the details in the book. But first, I want to start off by by asking you about how this book saved your life because you made that statement and it's pretty profound. Why did it save your life? I know, I'm really dramatic. I know, I know. Um, well, because when I started writing the book, I didn't intend to actually write a novel. I, I wrote an exercise of a thousand words a day. It was sort of like extreme sports writing edition, and I thought for sure I would hit a wall. But the thing that really, really saved my life through writing the book um, was I was really struggling with an alcohol problem, and I gave all the thoughts and feelings that I was too afraid to admit to myself in the words of this character, Elliot. And it's sort of one of those things where like, once you see, honey, you can't unsee. So um, I got sober halfway through writing the book, which, like, mm. chef kiss 10 out of 10 would recommend. Wow. Congratulations. That's great to hear, Ryan. I, I, you're very funny. I love uh, the Netflix show. Uh, I love your first book. Where does your humor come from? When did you develop this particular voice you have? Well, when you grow up gay and disabled in a society, you realize you might need a bag of tricks to get through it. <laughs> so <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like my humor, I don't know. It's like, I feel like I just look at everything through a lol lens. I, I don't know. It's sort of, it's been very innate and I'm so glad I have it because I feel like it's a superpower because I feel like people see me and they're like, they're not really ready for this jelly, but I feel like my humor disarms them <laughs> and, and it's kind of more palatable. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, I feel very fortunate to have it. It just feels like a nice little weapon. Uh-oh. Oh, no, the Looks internet. Looks like we might have lost them a little bit oh, there. well, I would advise people pick up oh, a no, book. Wait. Oh, we got them back. back. There we go. Back like you never left. Is he, is he back? Just back. Just uh, <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, you were going to say something. Th there it is. Okay, so what do you want people to take away from this book? Um, I mean, I feel like there's not really a discussion around disability. I think people are pretty skittish around disability. I have a couple theories about that. I think uh, if you age long enough, you might end up disabled, which I think people feel very uncomfortable with. Um, so I just, yeah, I really hope it yeah. normalizes the experience of disability and it makes people feel less skittish around disability. And I just feel like more conversations need to happen around disability. Um, so I just hope that they see this and they feel like they're learning things without being it being didactic. I like to cover the vegetables in tons of sugar, and I feel like there's so much sugar in this book that you might get a cavity. But like you're going to be eating kale too. You know what I mean? Uh, only, yeah. only a little bit of kale. Yeah, yeah. And, and we always heard it's Con good to eat your vegetables. Congratulations on coming no out doubt. as hot over the pandemic as well, Ryan. That was a big milestone. No doubt about Thank it, you. Ryan O'Connell. <laughs> of Thank course, you. of course, just by looking at him, goes on sale tomorrow. We will be right back. We appreciate you, Ryan.